Yeah? A few odds and ends? A pleasure doing business with you. Bye! Hey there. Well, sure, we've got plenty for the moment. Later.
Hi there, welcome to Andale. I'm Willie Wilson, though folks just call me Bill. Is there anything I can do for you? Why, it's a place to settle down and raise a family. Of course, we don't just let anyone in here. The Homeowners Association is very clear on that. Besides, there's no room. As amazing as Andale is, is it any wonder that all the houses would be full of happy families? By God, it's another fine day in Andale. I feed my family, and I love my wife and daughter. What else more is there to life, stranger? Family first, and any man who says anything different is saying something wrong. You should hit that man with a stick. Come back and see you soon. Can I interest you in an extremely rare refreshment? Nuka-Cola Quantum is worth its weight in gold. It's much better than your average Nuka-Cola. It even glows in the dark. Only 100 caps, my friend, and a bargain at twice the price. Why, I know a lady in Gertershire who paid you the nose for one. Well, it'll save me the trip. Fine, you've got a deal. Enjoy. The price is right. Make me an offer. Another satisfied customer. Yeah, see you. Greeting, dearest America. This is your present, John Henry. Well, hello. Let's Welcome to Andale, winner of the best town in the USA contest. Why, thank you. That's so nice of you to say. You're just too sweet. But forgive me. Did you want to ask me something? It's the best little town there is. We don't have a care in the world here. I mean, honestly, what more do you need to know? Really, don't be such a stranger. Hello there, stranger. Good to meet you. Name's Jack Smith. I hear you've already met my wife. Sweet lady, isn't she? But anyway, welcome to Andale, the best little town in Virginia. I am the voice, heart, and soul. And it's good to meet you, too. Feel free to stay in Andale as long as you like. Heck, stop by the house for dinner sometime if you'd like. Just let Linda know beforehand so she can make enough for four. I hope to see you there. So, did you need anything else? I work to feed my family just like every red-blooded American man should. Why, a man that can't keep his family fed isn't any kind of man at all. No, sir. Andale, greatest place there is. We win town of the year every year. We've got no end of food and no troubles at all. Yep, there's no better place to raise a family. Welcome to Andale. Why, hello there. I heard there was someone new coming. How can our little family help you? Are you joking? It's fantastic here. The best town in the USA. Has been for, why, it's been so many years running that I've lost count.
one of my inspirational quotes from the mouth of your president, John Henry Eaton, straight to your heart. Avoid popularity if you would have peace. Sweet America, hello again. This is President Eaton. I'd like to have a chat. When I was a child, growing up in rural Kentucky, I had the best friend a boy could hope for, my dear old dog, Honey. Oh, ho, ho, the adventures we had. From Nod Creek to Hoganville we roamed, carefree and courageous, irresponsible, and completely inseparable. It was, for a little boy, the perfect existence. So, let me ask you, America, how many of your children can say the same? How many of this nation's youth are truly happy, truly carefree? Well, we both know the answer, don't we? None. America's children live in a terrifying, meaningless existence. There is no hope, no happiness. That changes right here, right now. From this moment onward, the children of this great nation are its highest priority. The Enclave will restore every American school, reinstate every youth program, and offer counseling and financial assistance to any family in need. We will match up the destitute, orphaned children of the Capital Wasteland with qualified, eligible adults. We will rebuild the American family as it was, as it was meant to be. Values of our past shall be the foundation of our future. And now, here is America. Oh, well, no one ever asks me my opinion about anything, but I love it here. We'll see you again, won't we? What? How? How did you get in here? What are you doing in this town? Get out! Get out while you can! What's wrong? You don't see anything wrong with a quiet little town full of friendly people in the middle of a blasted wasteland? Nothing wrong with being friendly, but these folks aren't just friendly. They're killers! You just watch your back around here, and get out while you can! That's a fine day. You're new here, aren't you? Wow. I've never got a chance to talk to the new people. Dad always takes care of them, before I get a chance. It's okay, I guess. There aren't a lot of kids around here, and no one who comes to visit stays around long. Dad says it could be worse, that there are a lot of starving kids in other places. But still, I wish I had more kids to play with. The same things that all parents do. My mom cooks and cleans the house, and my dad goes to work with Mr. Wilson. They work in the basement, or sometimes in Mr. Wilson's shed. Dad says that when I'm older, I'll come to work with him and we're in the family business.
It's swell, except I wish there were more kids, and my dad says I'm gonna have to marry smelly old Jenny Wilson someday. He keeps saying stuff to my mom about keeping the family going, and how when him and Mr. Wilson were brothers, they didn't want to get married. It's weird. That means Mr. Wilson is my uncle, and Jenny is... something. I don't know. It seems weird to marry her. So long. Isn't it? Ooh, we smell that air. Ain't nothing like it, is there? And what can I do for you on this fine day? Oh, that old kidder? Whatever he's saying, he's just pulling your leg. He's always joking, that one. Come back and see you soon. I'm not in the mood for you, asshole. Here, run. Que pasa? I'm a little busy right now, but never too busy for a friend. What did you want to talk about? Has he been spreading his stories again? Poor guy. I'll just have to have Jack give him a talking to. Really? Don't be such a stranger. What do you need? Bye. Hey there, stranger. I got something I want to talk to you about. I couldn't help but notice that you were poking around in Bill's shed. So, did you find what you were looking for in there? And did you see anything unexpected there? And do you have any thoughts on that? Too bad, stranger. I guess you'll just have to be our new meal. I'm not really sure what happened. Mr. Harris said that our parents went away, and they won't be back. 
He says that he'll tell me more about it when I'm older, but I miss my mom and dad. So long. Are I saw what happened out there, stranger. Those people may have been my family, but it had to be done. I was like them for so many years. It's... I can't even talk about it. The only thing I can do is try to raise these kids and make Andale into a decent place. They'll stay here with me and I'll raise them myself. It's a shame that they have to grow up without their parents. But to tell you the truth, it's a lot better than growing up with their parents, everything considered. Better an orphan than a cannibal, I guess? We'll do our best is what we'll do. Me and the kids here in Andale. What's left of it, anyway. It'll be hard going, but we'll do the best we can. I just hope that one day these kids will grow up to do some good for this place, after all the evil that's been done here. Sure did. Can't say that I'm proud of it, though. It was all just normal. It's what we all did. I did never think much about it. I married Gladys, just like every boy in Andale married the girl closest to his age. We had Linda, and she grew up to marry Jack. It wasn't until Gladys died that I thought about what went on around here. So many people over the years, hundreds, thousands maybe. But what could I do? I'm just an old man. But you ended it. Bless you. Bye.
Welcome home. Yeah? Yeah. See you. Do not attempt to please
Who? You mean, are you for real? I'm safe? I, I need to get out of here. Here, take these supplies. It's all I have, but they'll only slow me down. Okay, if you say so. I can't thank you enough, stranger. Someone new. I need water, please. Water. You... Are you serious? I, I can't offer anything in exchange, you know. I, I can just have... I can just have it? For free? My... Thank you. Thank you so much. You've saved my life. Bless you. Hey. Hello.
How the hell did you get in here? <laughs> I suppose you can't be all that bad if you made it this far without dying. This is the part where you tell me what the hell you are doing bothering an old man who obviously wants to be left alone. Get on with it already. I live here. It's where I do my work. And it's far away from Dr. Lee and all those other monkeys dressed up like scientists. You made it past my defenses, which proves you aren't a dummy. And you haven't killed me, so I suppose you aren't here to do that. I suppose you can hang around if you want. Just don't touch anything. The secret kind. Well, if you must know, I'm an electrician and computer expert. And I'm a bit of a surgeon. Really, the most gifted scientist you'll find. <laughs> I'm the guy that got Rivet City up and running in the first place. And after all that, Lee and her gang of flunkies pushed me out. Ha! <laughs> Project Purity, indeed. What a bunch of morons. They can't even clean some water. Don't let your guard down. Hey there. I'm Belle Bonnie, and this is the Muddy Rudder. I'll tell you what I tell all the fresh meat. Don't start anything down here, or I'll have Brock kick your ass. You must be drunk. Are you gonna order, or what? Oh yeah, he's a mess. I'm glad I'm not in Cindy's shoes. Go talk to Vera if you want gossip. I don't talk bad about folks. What do you have? A pleasure doing business with you. I'll be right here when you get thirsty. Hey, good looking. How come you haven't bought me a drink yet? Now that's what I like in a man. Enough caps to buy a lady a drink. It's noisy, dark, and smelly. But we're safe here. No super mutants or raiders. And maybe Dr. Lee will find a way to get clean water for us. You're lost, sugar. Come and see me again sometime. I heard that the city council is debating putting railings on the flight deck. Well, I hope they do something. Remember that child that fell off?
It makes me feel safer knowing you're around. Oh, Vera's the nicest lady ever. It's so cool that you brought me here. I mean, she makes me do stuff, like clean up her hotel and all that, but she really cares about me. Plus, I found some friends here in Rivet City, too. All thanks to you. See ya, mister. Welcome back, sir. Only 120 caps. You won't get a better deal than that. That sounds like a deal. Out in the hallway, turn left. First door on your left. That's your room. She's not very social. Stays in her lab in the stern. She's smart, though. Real smart. Take a look at our menu. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Farewell. Hey there. I'm Diego, the acolyte for St. Monica's. St. Monica saved her own son's soul from eternal damnation. She is now the patron saint of lost children for the faithful everywhere. You really should come to church on Sunday mornings. The sermon will be all about St. Monica. Father Clifford takes the donations. You'll have to talk to him. God bless you. Are you ready to order, Mr... I am Father Clifford of St. Monica's Church. Yes, my flock is all of Rivet City. You should come to services this Sunday. I'll be telling the tale of St. Monica. You would? I mean, certainly. We humbly accept whatever you can spare. However, St. Monica looks most favorably on donations of 100 caps or more. A most generous offer. God bless you. St. Monica bless you. Sir. Monica bless you. I'm Janice Kaplinski, chief botanist. What do you need? I did see a man talking to Dr. Lee, but I really shouldn't be discussing it. She's already in a bad mood. I'd hate to make it worse. You should probably just talk to her about it. So long. I'm looking for troublemakers. Have you seen any? Nothing I contact security for. Morning. Yes? Everything looks okay here. Morning. Yes? Have a seat anywhere. Someone will be with you in a minute. Hello. Let me or a security officer know if you see anything out of the ordinary. Hey. Stay away from me! What do you want? Are you... one of them? I suppose it doesn't matter if I tell you. I used to be a slave. I saw a slaver on this ship. His name is Sister. I'm afraid he's after me. Really? Oh, thank you. Can you help me? I've been so worried with him around. I can hardly sleep at night. Thank you. I'll go to Flack and Shrapnel's just before closing. I don't have anything to give you, but I think I can trust you with a secret. If you ever go up north, there is a secret slave hideout called Temple of the Union. 
You might find them useful. Welcome. Welcome to Potomac Attire. I am Bannon, proprietor and city council member. I carry discriminating attire for discriminating customers. Straight to the point. I like that. Another satisfied customer. Dr. Lee, Chief Harkness, and I are all on the council. We meet every Monday morning. I can be very influential, if you know what I mean. Far more than Seagrave Holmes. Don't want to get mixed up in politics, eh? Don't blame you. It's a place to live, safe from raiders and super mutants. With Dr. Lee on our side, maybe we can even begin to rebuild the world. Come back soon. One of the new immigrants died of radiation. Howdy, I'm Seagrave, Seagrave Holmes. I have a little of just about everything here. I've got a little bit of everything. Give me a shout if you need anything else. See you later. Poisoning last week. Morning. Yeah, I heard she was drinking a little water. Hey. What do you want? I ain't scared. And I ain't your son. Any other stupid questions, asshole? What's your problem, mister? It's a boat. A really big boat. My mom is probably drunk, and my dad's dead. Is that good enough for you, asshole? Hello. Let me introduce myself. I am Gary Staley, gourmet chef and gourmand. I'll be preparing your meal. My specialty is Meyer Lurk cakes, although the iguana is very popular, too. Here is our menu, sir. Thank you for coming to Gary's Galley. Morning. Is there a problem? Bannon and Dr. Lee and I all meet on Monday mornings to talk about citywide issues. It's pretty informal. The council doesn't have much real power. She's one of the members of the council. Runs the science lab here. Don't bother her unless it's important. Her lab is in the stern end of the ship. He's totally strung out. It's gonna kill him one of these days. Carry on, then.
Good to see you.
this most illustrious office. Or whether or not I had been elected at all. To that I must answer, of course. Of course I was elected, sweet America. Of course. Isn't the right to vote the very foundation of a democracy? Fortunately, in the interest of national security, I'm not at liberty to discuss the details of the election. You understand. But rest assured, I am your president. Because the appropriate people of this great nation decided that I should be. I am your new president. Of course, when the time comes, when my term is up, America will be free to elect a new president. Democracy now and forever. And now, dearest America, we must say that for there is much work to be done. The honor never rises. Until we meet again, this is President Keith signing off. Hold it. This area is under the authority of the Brotherhood of Steel. Leave immediately. You're awfully brave to be walking around down here by yourself. Are you scavenging the ruins? So it goes with all of us. Perhaps we can be of use to one another. I am Senior Scribe Yearling, Order of the Word. I have a proposal for you, if you're interested. Good. My task here is to collect the written works of those who came before, in order to supplement the Brotherhood archives at the Citadel. Although most of the pre-war books have been destroyed, there are a few that have survived, but finding a book in these ruins is... difficult. I could have a million initiates to comb the ruins, and I'd still never come close to recovering every book that remains undamaged. Precisely. The collected knowledge of a lost age is worth far more than any weapon. So, return here with any books that you find in good condition. I will compensate you for every volume that you bring me. Think on it, and return when you have books to offer me. Excellent! How many are you willing to trade? Very well. Here is your reward. Use it well, and return with more books when you can. Of course.
chance.
Welcome back. Have you been successful in your search for books? Excellent. How many are you willing to trade? Very well. Here is your reward. Use it well, and return with more books when you can. Steel be with you. What's up? Sir Knight. Hey, what's up?